Hello traders welcome to this training session tips and ideas for trading the t7 which is a double top double bottom with trend strategy now in our educational room we call it the bet the farm trade BTF and so you'll see this marked up on the charts and I've had many members ask me if I could explain the strategy in detail so basically we have two tests and another rejection the market then decides to uh, go in another direction and so that's basically what happens with a double top and a double bottom now members if you go to our folders you'll see under powerpoints we have extensive powerpoints there on trading double tops and double bottoms with the exception with this setup or it's not really with the exception with this one though it's a trend following strategy as I'm about to illustrate so in a moment we'll go to the charts and I'll show you 10 or so different examples of bet the farm trades first of all as always we do need do need to uh, put up the disclaimer as always this is a raw real and unedited recording so if I make any blunders you'll have to forgive me so on the uh, understanding the risk uh, if you haven't read our risk disclaimer for some time please pause the video read the disclaimer there is a risk in trading it's very very important that all traders understanding the risk uh, understand the risk I should say <laughs> by the way I've been up trading all night it's very early in the morning here for me down under so once again got to excuse me so let's uh, have a look at a couple of rules here uh, first of all normal money management rules apply meaning when I say bet the farm uh, that's a little tongue-in-cheek uh, yes it is a very high probability trade and that's a great thing about this it is a high probability trade however you still will have losses all right so it's still very very important that you stick with your uh, trading plan and your money management rules secondly this is a trend following strategy so we are looking for um, trading in the direction of the trend this strategy works on all time frames and markets but verify uh, we know that every market has its own personality so this will work on Forex futures and stock markets but the specific market just go back and just back test um, now a t7 a double top or double bottom can be within two to three ticks of forming a perfect double top or double bottom walks like a duck looks like a duck acts like a duck it's a duck meaning uh, you don't have to have exactly the same height um, uh, on a double top uh, to work and I'll show you this on the charts ideally the anchor chart supports the trade it's fantastic if you have a double top or double bottom uh, in the sweet spot zone that is where the anchor chart also supports the trend direction of your double top or double bottom ideally you have divergence this is a real bonus and we see this virtually every day if you've got divergence and a trend trade so divergence supporting the double top double bottom that is fantastic it probably adds another 10 percent to the percentage of this trade coming off for you ideally the t1 super scalper confirms a trade ideally two I'll show you what I mean by that so if you don't have the super scalper just look for a close over the trigger line so if you're going short you want to see a close under the trigger line if going short if you're going long you want to see a close above the trigger line that's if you don't have the super scalper uh, we're looking for bet the farm trades at the 3489 205 35 EMAs. They're sort of the best. I, I really believe around the 200 is sort of your most accurate, but uh, they're all high probability trades. So let's go and have a look at these in detail. So, what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at a few on a couple of different markets. So, we'll just have a look at the NQ because it really doesn't matter which market you're going to trade as I said because all markets have different personalities just spend a bit of time go back and look at 40 50 ideally 100 trades this is how you start to visually recognize them so what we're looking at here traders is the NQ 144 so we can see here we've come down we've got uh, an 89b bounce at this level you can see it here we've got um, a double bottom within the tick we have two super scalpers plotting our white paint bars in the direction now in this particular one 
it only uh, rallied up probably about eight ticks not a great example but it still is a bet the farm a t7 double bottom with divergence so we can see here we've got divergence and so you would have got out of this with a few ticks or a break even coming down here we now have a great uh, 200b double bottom so t7 uh, with divergence so we can see divergence on our platinum uh, in the direction of the overall trend and if you looked at your anchor chart here you would see we had very very strong uh, trend support on the anchor chart and so effectively what the market's done it's come down tested it once it wants to go short now it's rejected that we come up we then had a 34b pivot bounce we can see come down we bounce on the 200 no don't want to go that way let's head back up and that's exactly what happened here now moving right along you can have what we call big picture bet the farm trades that is a big picture is where we've come down we can see here we've had a, a pivot bounce 89 and 34 we've rallied up we've come back down we've bounced on the 89 and the pivot so when you get a t7 with pivot support there's another five to ten percent towards your trade coming off because we know how effective pivot bounces can be so we can see here that the uh, uh, the anchor chart was supporting our trade everything's pointing up we've come down we've tested this low now notice here we're within two ticks so this point here is two ticks lower than this point but it's still a bet the farm trade let's just have a look at one more on the NQ so we can see we then rally down we've come up we've then got a pivot bounce so we can see here we've got a great double top we've got divergence and a twin pivot bounce fantastic and at the 200 thank you very much so here is another double top bet the farm trade with a pivot bounce and divergence it ticks all the boxes and what a nice trade that one was let's now go and have a look at some trades on the CL so we're now looking at the CL 233 tick and in this particular case we can see at this first point here we had a nice double top in the direction of the overall trend and this also was in a sweet spot zone so we had the anchor chart supporting this the only slight challenge you had with this trade is the support area down here at a previous low uh, and actually let me remove that because you didn't actually see that at the time so I'm glad I removed that so um, you did have a great uh, at the 34 great double top bet the farm trade in the direction of the overall trend and if we looked here what was another ignore these that other little black lines here but we also had some divergence so very very nice now look over here we can see if the 535 this is a 535 200b this is what we call a flat top it's a bet the farm it's a flat top sort of perfect double top or double bottom but we had one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 candles all at the 535 and 200 so it's a flat top as good as a double top we're waiting for a close below the trigger line which we had right there so we can see we only had one t1 you can see over here we had two t1s one two so you only had one t1 there but a very very nice trade also with a t19 and as time went on we had even more we can see price action just falling right away or when I say price action the platinum falling right away so you had a nice t19 bounce of the 535 200 close below the trigger line and in you go so flat tops also qualify for bet the farm trades here is another uh, once again on the CL 233 at a nice little now you can see nice little double top here uh, two super scalpers you're within two ticks you can see this this uh, high is two ticks lower than this high however it is a t7 now you can see here that we still have our overall um, uh, major EMAs are in a downtrend now what's nice about this one you also had double divergence you had a 2d so you had divergence in a direction of your overall trend on both your anchor and your entry chart and the way it fell we'll go and have a look at another 
now this is one that we can really learn from now what we had was a little double top here after a major divergence trade so here is your short you've only got one t1 plot but as you can see here the trend we were tra effectively trading against the uh, 200 on our anchor tra chart so we can see here we've actually heading up now and notice here that what we effectively have is we've got support so we've entered a trade or potentially entered a trade and you've hit a major support area so ideally your t7s and bet the farm trades you want to be trading away from major support resistance areas and you can see here it come down it was only good for a couple of ticks then it continued back in its merry old trade direction now what about this here so if we look at this here this is actually down uh, three ticks so this low is lower by three ticks than this so we can see here that this actually formed a double bottom it's within three ticks it's more of what I call a big picture formation but it has formed a double bottom bottom within three ticks with divergence now bouncing off your 535 so I hadn't marked that up but you could have qualified this as a double bottom bet the farm because you are in the direction of the overall trend so here we have another t7 right on the 200 and you can see here we have only got to, you've actually got sorry a number of your EMAs are all converging here and it bounced up and it didn't go too far now I talk about in the room about watching for divergence because even if you don't trade divergence and once again traders I highly recommend if you only trade with the trend until you're consistently profitable as a trend trader and even then you can still use divergence just as a heads up when to stay out of a trade or when to potentially exit a trade and we can see here your entry would have been here there's your double bottom here's your entry you've closed above your trigger line now yes it popped up five ticks but then we can actually see we had a t1 plot a reversal here at this point we had double divergence we had divergence on our entry chart and on our anchor so this was more of a small loss or break even trade here is a nice little double top so we've got a nice double top we can look uh, at uh, all of our EMAs are in a definite downtrend in actual fact we had uh, great divergence um, uh, here and away it went it fell away now just while we're on this we can see just over to the right here we had a t19 trade as well higher high lower high all right so that was a, a really nice um, uh, t19 trade at the same time so once again your t19s and t7s are singing out of the same hymn book basically so once again when you get your t19s uh, your divergence trades in the direction of the overall trend these are also a very very nice bet the farm trade once again I say that with a smile on my face you stay within your money management rules let's perhaps just have a look at a couple more now this one's a little hard to see because of the floor pivot we've got here so we can see here we've come down we've got a what we call a 34b here now this is straight after a nice t19 divergence trade in the direction of the overall trend by the way the anchor chart was confirming the sweet spot so we are in a sweet spot zone here so we come down we then bounced up we had a pivot bounce so it was good for five ticks we then come back up and we had another bounce on the pivot notice our overall trend is down we've had a double top pivot bounce so a t7 so it's both a bet the farm trade and a pivot bounce and thank you very much it was good for 10 ticks or so $100 now this is more of what we call big picture divergence this is an ideal divergence but it is one other huge thing what is that a pivot bounce so we know that once we break through a pivot we love these pivot bounces and that's what that is uh, formed here's an example where it's not as perfect it's not a perfect double bottom but we can see here we've come down we've had a 200 535 B price sections gone up we've had a 34 B come back down and bounced on the pivot now what I've got here is wait for the sweet spot almost a uh, let's see a t7 
and I forget the little little it's actually meant to be a seven there so it's almost a t7 a double bottom uh, there is, is a three tick difference however we can see here that our longer term EMAs are in an uptrend and if you had have looked at the anchor chart you'd see that we actually are in a sweet spot that is we've come up the anchor chart is supporting the trend plus we have divergence so you're within three ticks you have divergence a 200 bounce and support of the 535 just below so we now have another great t7 pet the farm BTF we can see here that the we're in a downtrend at 200 our 89 we've bounced off the 89 we've come back up we've now bounced on the 200 we are within three ticks we also have a t19 so a t19 of course is our divergence trade so we're up three ticks or so just here very very close plenty of room to run down to the pivot and you can actually see here we ended up having a nice uh, double pivot a big picture uh, pivot bounce so as I got up here use the t1 to better qualify the trade I like to see the uh, t1 but once again if you don't have the t1 indicator or you can't get it for your software package just look for a close below your trigger line that will qualify you into the trade so in closing traders if you hopefully you picked up some ideas uh, from this short video now if you haven't already subscribed to my channel if you're new to my channel please uh, subscribe to the channel uh, visit my website I now have two free ebooks I've got a training manual and the ebook the truth about day trading even more importantly for $197 now get uh, it's now over 15 different day and swing trading strategies easy to learn we've got cheat sheets on all of our key strategies dozens of PowerPoints there's actually over 80 hours of online video instruction I provide full uh, email support there's over 20 hours of recorded live trading sessions and trading strategy recaps and even better I provide you with indicators for all of the major for trade um, trading platforms and very very important let me just say something about indicators traders don't spend a fortune on your indicators I'm still seeing uh, traders spending many thousands on indicators remember most indicators are just a derivative of price you can get them from me for free and most of the indicators we use are every day indicators just maybe fine-tuned to suit our style of trading so traders please subscribe and hope to see you as a member and hopefully uh, you picked up some ideas from this training session see you on my next recording